most e-bikes come with a standard 200mm disc on the front and either a 200 on the back or 180. Now that combination of brakes gives a fair amount of power. Recently we have tried some bikes with some 220mm discs. Now there's only one bike so far that has that, that's the Cannondale from, with the Magura 220mm disc brake. SRAM, who make the brakes on this particular bike here on our specialised turbo level, have given us a 220mm disc and we're now going to fit it to the bike. It's a pretty easy change to make to your e-bike. You need a 220mm disc, the correct brake adapter, brake adapter bolt. We've aligned the caliper, let's go and play with the bike now. Quite lucky, right near the trails. It's not bedded in properly though. Extra control. Yes, it definitely feels better. You can feel the power. Wow, it stops so much more powerfully. So I can definitely feel a difference. You can feel the extra power on the brake. Hard to estimate how much, but it feels like a good 10, 20% more power. So this is the SRAM 220 mil disc that I've just put on the Specialized. I have to say, I'm impressed with the uh, extra feeling and power. It gives you that possibility to anticipate more easily. So if you're coming up a little bit quickly to a corner or some kind of feature, you can brake and it, that extra power gives you better control. It's cheaper than doing pretty much anything else. A complete brake system will cost you 300, but if you put on this 220 mil disc, you're gonna spend probably about a total of 50 to 100 euros between the parts, the screws, and the adapter. It's one of the most notable changes of any part that I've put on a bike in the last few years, which makes a big difference to power and control on the bike.